Cotard Syndrome by Jason Filer. Cotard syndrome was first described by Jules Cotard, a French physician in the 1880s. He was dedicated to studying both psychiatric and neurological patients. This syndrome is seen in patients with various psychiatric and organic conditions, and it is a syndrome of negation, which means that these patients often deny various aspects of their being. In this syndrome, the patients have delusions that they are dead do not exist, are decaying, or have lost a part of their body. It is thought that this syndrome has to do with the disconnect between the areas of the brain used to recognize faces and the areas associated with recognizing emotions. Because it is typically seen as part of another underlying disorder, it has not yet been recognized by the DSM-4. Psychiatric conditions seen with Cotard syndrome are schizophrenia, unipolar depression, hydrophobia, and bipolar disorder. Cotard syndrome can also be seen with organic conditions such as typhoid fever, stroke, brain injury, Parkinson's disease, and even migraines. These patients deny their own existence, being alive, the possibility of death, their soul, and even their ability to walk. They may deny even having certain parts of their body, such as their heart, their brain, their liver, their limbs, or even a pregnancy. There are three stages to Cotard syndrome, the first of which is called germination. In this stage, patients experience psychiatric depression, anxiety, and hypochondria. The second stage is called blooming, which is the full development of the syndrome and the delusions of negation. The last stage is the chronic stage. In this stage, they experience severe delusions and chronic depression. Patients with this condition are often withdrawn, neglect hygiene, refuse to eat, experience anxiety, have delusions of immortality, self-mutilate, suicidal ideation and attempt, and depersonalization. In depersonalization, the person sees their body as not part of themselves. Recovery can happen as spontaneously as the onset. If these delusions are related to an acute syndrome, the condition tends to resolve. If the delusions are part of a depressive illness, then it may continue even after the symptoms of depression are no longer there. The delusions may also wax and wane in intensity. Because this is seen with other disorders, treatment should be followed after a workup defining what the other conditions are. The first approach is monotherapy, 
which is when a condition is treated with one single drug or a different kind of therapy. Recovery has been seen with the use of antidepressants such as fluoxetine, sertraline, and mirtazapine. Also, lithium and antipsychotics such as risperidone. The second approach is combination therapy, which is when a condition is treated with a medication and another different kind of therapy, such as the use of risperidone and sertraline, or haloperidol and mirtazapine. Also, electroconvulsive therapy can be used in combination with psychiatric medications.